you know, I'm, I'm disappointed in the loss. Um, very proud of, of these seniors. Um, you know, we, we just couldn't get it done. We wanted to be playing on Sunday for a championship, and you can't have the mistakes uh, that, that we had today. Uh, we missed some assignments. We gave up too many three-pointers. Um, you know, uh, SFA just um, came out and wanted it more. Uh, they're about a basketball team. I mean, that's obvious. They beat us three times this year. Uh, they want, like I said, they wanted it more. I, I do. I want to go on record though. Um, there's a play that they run every time we play them, and we have absolutely gone over it for the last three years, and we still get caught on it. And I, as a head coach, I don't know what else to do. Uh, you know, we've tried it every way, and we still we either run over the screen or they score. So I just want to go on record. I promise you, we do know what they run. We're just not executing the plan. Um, you know, I wish them well. They're very well coached. And, um, you know, I, I really don't know what else to say. I'm, I'm disappointed, like I said, in the loss. But uh, you you got to have that in your gut. you got to have it in your gut, and you've got to want it more than the other team. And we had them where we wanted them, and then we let up absolutely let up and made some mental mistakes and this time of year in March it's details you got you, the little details is going to help you win a championship and that's what SFA did tonight the little details and see they've been really good um, lately at the third quarter in the third quarter and we knew that I told the players that's the first play they're going to run coming out is they're going to isolate our, our our guards and run it and we They'll go back to the same side, and that we had to be ready for, um, you know, for the double. And we, like I said, we missed assignments, but um, their intensity level, uh, I think they really, really picked it up and, and started pushing the ball and making us uh, um, take some shots we didn't want. And we stood on offense. I mean, absolutely. And we've never this year. We really haven't been a very good offensive team. I have a very young point guard, and I love her. Absolutely love her. And she's a tremendous athlete. And we're learning the game. And uh, you know, we're spending a lot of time together uh, just trying to figure out the gaps and stuff. So, I mean, the future looks good, but I sure wish we had this one. But you look out there, and we, we were very young at, at the guard spot this year, losing what we lost last year, but having a great high-low game. Uh, you know, we, we were successful there, but in the guard spot, um, there was new guards with me. Uh, when I'm talking about Antonio, I'm talking about Camry Orr and having to adjust – to, to our system and also Taylor Sales who um, like I said I want her running the show for us I just want to say you know I, I think the term has been ran very I mean great everything has been wonderful and I do want to thank you know uh, uh, our president and, and athletic director and I mean everybody Jamie everybody our boosters um, our band absolutely appreciate it uh, you know, cheerleaders and Josh, you know how I feel about you. You take care of me, and you never, you never get the credit. And Steve, I appreciate everything. Um, but I, I really needed to say that because I never get the opportunity to say it. Um, but you know, love UCA, and I love getting on that purple bus and pulling in in, in you know towns and stuff. But um, I really do appreciate all the support, and thank y'all for everything you do.